Okay, this is the King Chi 35D single thick multi-purpose automatic inflatable cushion for camping. Uh, this model is gray and uh, you can see the model number right there. But I got it sitting on my camping cot here. We're gonna open it up and see how we like it. Before we get started, I do need to let you know that the company sent me this product for free uh, in exchange for a video review. So that's exactly what we're doing. They sent me the product. I'm gonna open it up, review it. If I like it, I'll let you know. If not, I'll let you know. No money's trading hands. They didn't pay me to do this, just to exchange product for a service. So let's open it up and hopefully it's a great product. All right, we're gonna get my little pocket knife out here. This actually came from Amazon, as you can see. The company uh, asked me to put it in my cart and tell me how much it was gonna cost to get it shipped and then they sent me the money to buy it. So that's how that kind of worked out. It comes uh, packed in plastic. The first thing I notice about it is it's uh, very large. Normally when you're looking at camping pads, you're looking at something this size here. So comparatively, that's super huge but um, you know that's this is basically for backpacking um, so you can keep it light and this is a half inch thick one inch thick pad right here this is more for I would call it glamping <laughs> if you're going out and you're carrying big coolers and your whole family and stuff this is what this one would be for Okay, it comes with a case. So there's a straps right there. You can put it on your back. All right, there's kind of how that works. Pretty cool. It's big enough to where a big guy like me doesn't, you know, it's not squeezing me to death. And it seems to have enough room in it right here. You know, that's, that's oversized. You can see how much bag is left. It's pretty cool. That just means that <laughs> it's not going to fit in as tight as it is now. All right, zips open on the top. You can tell this is my first time opening this product. All right, so there's that bag. It's got instructions sewn into the bag so you don't lose them. I guess this is what you put it in. Some kind of garment that goes over it here's the instructions right here according to the instructions this is kind of like a cover to where you can attach other sleeping mats together to make a bigger surface so we'll kind of look at that here in a minute so we got some more plastic here and this is a uh, vacuum sealed which is why they have the oversized bag because that's not going to fit back in a bag designed just to fit this Get our knife out here. I'm going to be careful not to puncture the actual bag there. There we go. So that one was vacuum sealed, and then there's a what on There's a another piece of vacuum sealed plastic. Now the instructions say to undo these buckles here. So there's those little buckles there. We're going to undo those. And then it says roll it out. Ah, I like how wide that is. So this is a self-inflating mattress, but basically it's it's foam. It's a foam cushion. There's a little bag on the side to put some your phone and stuff. It's got Velcro on the corners, I guess to support that that duvet cover. Wow, it, it fits the just about the entire length of the cot, all the way down to this end. Okay, it's touching the end on this side. Just a couple of inches there that aren't covered. It's not bad at all. So this is kind of weird. It says, uh, <laughs> a number three, it says, Pave, pave it to use. Hmm. I wonder if that means let it, uh, let it get some air, let it over, let it inflate. 
It says inflate until the product is full. Do not over inflate to prevent from bursting. Uh, I think there's a language barrier there. There's no place to inflate anything. And you can obviously tell it's a, it's a piece of foam in there. But let's go over the features here. On the bottom, it's got a textured bottom. So I guess it keeps it from slipping on whatever surface you put it on. Here are the straps that wrapped it up. And essentially you could, um, you could put these under your cot to keep it from sliding on your cot. We already looked at the uh, bag right here so you can put stuff in. This is kind of like a nice suede type feel. And the feature that I, I see that I already like the most uh, is this zipper right here. There you go. That confirms it. It's memory foam in there. Yep, it's a memory foam mattress. And you can wash the cover. You can take it off and wash it, which is awesome. Okay, here is an, the extra cover I guess which it looks exactly the same so the cover has exactly the same texture it's got that suede texture it's got the beaded bottom for anti-slippage you know what this is guys this is just an extra cover I don't know what the directions are saying it's got all the same features that this cover has it has the velcro in the corners so you get two covers for it. Holy cow, it's the same exact thing. Yeah, so they're talking about the bonding device, the bonding device to hook others together is just the Velcro in the corners so that you can hook multiple mattresses up together. That's pretty neat. And I know some of you are probably like, read the directions more carefully, Kevin, but I, I read all of them. There's nothing that talks about that extra, that extra cover there. It's the exact same thing that's on it right here. So they sent you an extra cover. So if you don't have time to wash this or maybe you're out camping and you spill something on this, uh, you have an extra cover you can put on. That's awesome. All right, well, there's only one other thing to do and that's to test it out. As most of you know or can see in this video, I'm a big fella. So I like things to be comfortable I don't like to feel like I'm gonna break something, so we're gonna try it out. Oh, it's cozy. Need my pillow right here. Hmm. Yeah. Feels like I'm sleeping on my bed. It's nice and cozy. I don't feel like I'm going to fall off of it. It's hot right now. This fabric is not the coolest fabric in the world. But I guess on top of this, you would have your sleeping bag. So this, this, um, yeah, this, this material, I don't like too much. The suede material, it feels really good on your skin, but uh, it's hot. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so far, so good. Let's see how well it rolls back up because in the, in the pictures uh, <laughs> they make it look so simple to roll up and we all know better than that so let's try it so I'm gonna try to keep it as tight as possible when I roll it up it's very very soft like I'm surprised at how soft it is okay well that's not too bad there's the little straps right there let us have a little slack you can operate the buckles with one hand that's good well I tell you what that's a lot easier than the air mattress that I've been using that's a heck of a lot easier and this oversized bag looks like it's gonna fit it nicely let's try it out Boom. Look at all that extra room in there. So you could technically put your pillow in there. You can put a blanket in there. 
My sleeping bag is an oversized sleeping bag, so I couldn't fit that in there. But you can fit the extra cover in there. Man, there's a lot of space. So much room for activities. I'll zip it back up. There you go. Off to the races. What have we done so far? We've unboxed it, talked about what it comes with, looked at the features, unrolled it, tested it out quickly, rolled it back up, fit it inside the bag, zipped it up. We're done, right? Not quite. Tonight, I'm gonna sleep on it and let you know how it favors overnight. All right, guys, I'm all cozied up here on the cot on my new King Chi mattress, and I'm gonna try it out. Let's see how it sleeps. Oh, I feel comfortable already. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> well, we did it. We slept all night on this cot here. And uh, surprisingly enough, it was super comfortable. I didn't toss and turn too much. You know, I was thinking this morning as I was trying to wake up, some good applications for this bedroll, not only on a cot, but it would do well in a tent on the ground. Uh, put your sleeping bag on top. But really, I want to try it for truck camping. I think it'd be great. Uh, you see these guys that do truck camping and they build these platforms in the backs of their truck and it'd be a good bedroll to put on top of there. But y'all, it's a great product. Uh, after one night's testing, as far as I could test it, uh, every time I uh, got up to use the restroom or just just now when I got up, the, the product re regained its form. So it didn't crush and stay crushed. It forms to your body. It feels great. Not much more I can say about it. I'll put the link in the description uh, for the Amazon link for this, this bedroll. And if you want to get one, you can try it out. That's about it. Till next time, happy fishing.